So we've came a long way in a year and a half in the no prep drag RC. What started out as all of us just taking our LCG slashes, throwing some Hoosier tires on them and running them down the road as best as we could has turned into, well, a quick evolution of technology, some really expensive options and almost a pay to play scenario, which is kind of unfortunate. But just because you don't have the best stuff doesn't mean that you cannot go out there and have fun. There's plenty of people running stock and run what you brun classes. Today though, we're gonna talk about this little baby right here, the Max Amps Pack Parallel Cells. Does it make a big difference? Oh, you better believe it does. Coming up on the channel. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 RC channel. I am Chad and we're gonna talk about some batteries and we're gonna show you some runs and some data on some stuff. So the other day I completely stripped down the DR10, cleaned it up, put in new bearings, changed the diff fluid, put in aluminum idler gear, rebuilt the diff with the aluminum uh, drag race concept stuff working on like a nice baseline tune, trying to get everything up and running. More importantly, I wanted to test this new battery that I just got. So I spoke about these batteries before in some of my videos. These are the Max Amp Packs, and what makes these batteries different is that they are using multiple cells in parallel, so that way you do not get a huge voltage drop. You get higher RPMs because you have more voltage, lower resistance, your car just performs better. I actually have the baby pack, the 4350, which is smaller than this one right here, and they make a larger version, the 6300, that actually has six cells in parallel. And then this is the one I have here, the baby pack, which has three cells in parallel. So what does that mean? Typical two cell batteries have two big long cells. Usually they're equally matched, so if you have a 4,000 milliamp battery, you have two 2,000 milliamp cells in there. What Max Amps has done has taken individual cells and added those up and wired them in parallel. So for example, my 2S3P4350 pack has three cells in parallel for each cell. So basically there's six little batteries inside this one big battery. And when you go up to a four or six, well, you're looking at eight or 12. Got a lot of experience with batteries too, you know, doing the FPV quads and everything. There's been a lot of evolution in battery technology over the years, higher C rating, higher density cells, so that way they can pack more energy, graphene technology, which really didn't take off in FPV drones because it is a little bit heavier having that graphene in there, but it's better for heat. The other thing is that the voltages will maintain a lot longer. They do kind of drop off of a cliff at the end, but considering we're only running these batteries for two seconds and not five minutes, we usually don't have to worry. Just take a look at these voltages from my test session last week. This was on a brand new fully charged battery. Look at the voltage drops here, down to six, 5.7. Now look at these. I can't remember if this was the second or third hit, but it really doesn't even matter. Look how stable the voltage is. We're barely dipping below seven volts there. All the way through the hit, we're recovering getting some transient stuff, but that's okay. Here's another shot of the voltage being stable. This must have been the second hit because we can see a little bit of a drop right there, but you can just see just how amazing these batteries do when it comes to just producing RPMs, just giving you that power that you all want and need. Gonna be starting on the breakout build right now as soon as i'm done with this video so look for that stuff coming up in the next day or two the first of that series click that like button subscribe all that good stuff if you're interested and you're new here all of my stuff for my dr10 mclan adventures are in a brand new playlist i will link in the description below and i'll put a card right there now let's go outside and show you what's up with these batteries
All right, I don't think I've ever seen this car wheelie like that. It was wheelie the whole way down there. Wow. Winds are picking up the clouds. You can see the rain is getting ready to start at any time here. So we're gonna to try to get a couple more hits in. Quick thing that I am learning is that I've actually just dropped my spur gear down to an 87 from a 90. When you go through and redo your diff and your bearings and you put a brand new battery on there, your car is gonna hit super hard. So this thing has been hitting. You've seen the videos, I'm gonna leave them all in. Um, I've only made maybe one or two clean passes. So this time I've got it, the 87 in, and I've got it tuned down, and hopefully this will give me just a nice, clean, straight hit. Okay, that was a 255 at 62 miles per hour. I had just a little bit of right correction that I had to make. You saw it, it looked pretty good. Now this is a brand new pack. This is the 4350 multiple cell. So let's do another hit and let's see how close we can repeat that so we can just see how hard we can push this battery. So that was a, another good rip. Gonna do one more here just to see how things go to finish up the night probably won't be able to run again until Sunday. It's Thursday evening. We've got nothing but rain coming at us, as I have said a few times in this video. Just can't believe how big of a difference the battery has made. Stuck pretty good up against that. Wasn't gonna be able to back up, that's for sure. 255 at 59 miles per hour. So that's three hits without charging on that battery. We'll get the logs, take a look at those right now. I think the upgrades I did to the DR10 are going to pay off. It was long overdue to clean her up. She's running good now. Play with the slipper a little bit and test the Reaction Plus tires. Now that should be fun. Thanks a lot for stopping by guys. We will talk to you later.